up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel and i am back with another video i know maribel where have you been it is thursday usually i do post my podcast days on thursdays and sundays i am back to that schedule because i am getting busier and busier and i just need to take a break also i will be taking a social media break coming up pretty soon. Um, the only place that I will be posting consistently is here on YouTube. So you guys are going to get videos while everybody else won't get nothing else. So I hope you guys are ready for that. But today, instead of a podcast, we're doing a QA. and I posted on Facebook and Instagram um, that I'm doing a Q&A video and I need you guys to ask me questions. What are some things that you guys want to know, opinions or whatever of my own la 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 anyways you guys this is what i have gotten and we're going to start from the top to the bottom the first question is what's the greatest thing you accomplished in life and the greatest thing i accomplished was bettering myself um and bettering how to be a parent I think from now to now, and just myself, my own self-love, I'm really big on that. It took me a while to, to love who I am now, and I'm still working on that day by day. There's times where I feel like I don't, but that's just everybody's healing process. Everybody heals differently. You are going to have moments where you don't feel complete. Um, but I think that's my greatest accomplishment is just how far I've come in in healing wise based due to my trauma and also as a parent how much how much i've grown and learned to understand my child in general you know so that yeah that's mine and then another question Are you into gaming if yes would you start a gaming youtube channel the answer is no i am not into gaming um i'm not big on games and stuff like that but if i was i would start a youtube channel that's just not my thing can't focus on a game for the life of me um, this is not a question. That's not a question. Not a question, but you need to know that you're gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much, love. I appreciate you. Will you do a giveaway on your merch? Plus a shout out, please, big fan and much support. Um, yes, I will eventually do a giveaway on my merch once I start getting sales and stuff like that and everything, you know, algorithm starts algorithming. I will be doing that, especially during the holidays. I do love to give back and give to the children as well. If you guys know, I do love working with kids. I love kids in general. They're amazing. The reason why we continue to grow in this generation. Uh, What's a good quote for a Gemini? I sometimes feel lost in a world and feel like a different person. Um, someone who's also a Gemini, I would say it is so hard to always feel like we got it together because Geminis are very understanding people. We are the duality. We are the yin and yang. We are both sides. We try to see every avenue. And I feel like that's why people think that we're kind of two-faced because we can understand everybody's perspective, including our own. And that's why sometimes we are confused of our own perspective because we're trying to, we're understanding everybody's perspective, but now we're changing our own perspective that we thought that we thought was real, but now we've understood everybody. And now we're like thinking that that should be the answer. So as a Gemini, life can be a little confusing and um, we have to learn to go with the flow of things and learn to set our mind whenever we need it. Meditation is big. Breath work as an air sign is huge. So if you ever take time to breath work to learn to give yourself clarity, I think breath work works amazing as an air sign. Um, what is something to do to lose the mommy tummy? Um, Okay, so I've never gave birth to a child. And as a woman, once our body has stretched out, it is so hard for it to come back to the way it used to be. 
you need to be able to get your, your body tight again. But even when it gets tight, someone who's had a child or who has been, you know, bigger than what they are, their, their, their body's not going to bounce back at times. That elasticity sometimes will not go back and you are going to have a little bit of saggy skin. And that's okay as long as you tighten it up the most that you can by doing ab workouts and cardio or HIIT workouts where you're doing full body workouts to tighten up your muscles and tighten up your body, then you know it should go back. But just know if it's not completely perfect, that is okay. You are working your body. Your body is going through a lot of changes. I've learned that too, like I still have stretch marks, a little bit of loose skin, not a lot, just a lot, because I've always been very active. So I do have a little bit of loose skin and, and you're just, just learn to love yourself as you are. Not everybody has a perfect body and that's okay. To me, I think my body looks amazing. Um, I don't think it's perfect, but I just think for me, it is amazing and everybody's body is amazing the way they, the way they are. Now, what did you do to build, to help build your body confidence? What is something I can do to lose weight as a beginner? To lose weight as a beginner, love, I would say change your eating habits. I know like I'm, I'm not the one to talk because I'm not really great with eating great. But when I was smaller and I was losing weight, I changed my eating habits and I did meal prep. And I would eat a small breakfast egg whites you know i would start i would try to stay away from bread i don't drink soda um sugary sugary snacks are big too do you have a day though out of the week one day out of the week where you are able to indulge in the sugary stuff or the bad junky food because you don't want to starve your body of what it's what it's so used to slowly lean yourself off of food because food is an addiction so if you're addicted to sugar or you're addicted to caffeine or you're addicted to any type of food because food is a very addictive in general um slowly lean yourself off give yourself a day or two out of the week where you can indulge in those things just don't overdo it everything can be moderated do moderations of everything um and what i what i did to lose weight was i started doing a lot of cardio um, running has really helped me full body cardio also like boxing um, whether it's sit-ups whether it's push-ups all that just full body cardio working your whole body in general has helped me lose weight and a little bit of not eating as much too because I did used to eat now oh, stay away from fast foods I used to eat a bunch of fast food um, eat less fast foods cook at home more that's really good because fast foods just have a lot of a lot of things that you just don't want in your body. Okay, let's move on to the next questions. Will you ever do a meet and greet? Yes, 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 yes. I do want to do a meet and greet because I would love to meet you guys. I think I just feel like I need to build my audience more. I don't feel like a lot of people will show up just in my preference. I feel like if I'm going to do a meet and greet, I need to sell out and I need to make sure that my followers will definitely show up and show out. And I feel like we need to grow our, our audience more before we get there. And then it says somebody, would you do a meet and greet in California? I would, I would, I would. I'm just waiting to grow my audience more. And I definitely want to give you guys that. Um, would you go on a vacation with me sometime? Um, if I host a vacation with inviting all you know inviting any of the women and my followers and uh, who follow me then yeah but not with just one random person you know not a question but need you to know that you're gorgeous thank you love it's another one uh that was the same one i think another what is your biggest achievement okay i already answered that i already answered that what was your response to becoming viral so quickly? And why do you think so many people related to your pinnacle video? Um, my response was just, I was like, you know, that person who doesn't believe anything is happening or anything is changing. That was me. I was very much, oh, okay. Like I, I just, I was very humble about everything. So to me, it just felt normal. Like, oh, okay, like people, like my video. And I was like, oh, wow, like it's very, it's going very viral. 
and I was like, okay, cool. Like to me, it just didn't feel like anything was changing until you guys, my storage ran out, but I felt like everything was changing, but I just felt like everything was changing very fast and I didn't have time to really sit in what was going on. I didn't, but I kept going, I kept pushing and that's why I kept, you know, and I felt like people related to that video because there is a lot of older sisters out there who feel like they carry the weight on their shoulders because they have to take care of their siblings and whenever the mother can't handle the responsibility of their children, they always put it on their older, all the, on the oldest one every single time. So I feel like a lot of people related to that and I wasn't the only one who had experience also being the person who has to be responsible for siblings that are not my responsibility. And as older sisters, we know we carry a lot on our shoulders having to be there for the parents and knowing that what they're going through and then but I also having to take care of the kids. My video. And as older siblings, we get a lot of responsibility put on us. So that is my thing right there. That is my response to that question. And let's move on to the next one. Follow up to the going viral question. Do you have any regrets about it? Is there any? I haven't, I haven't been asked this. Um, I think the only regrets, I don't have any regrets, but I feel like the only thing that really hurts is the fact that a lot of people changed up on me. Um, a lot of people that I thought were would be there um, aren't. People fall apart. Like um, me thinking, this is a very I'm getting very vulnerable with you guys, but like I lost a lot of people, um, close people to me, and I feel like my privacy kind of went away because now everything became public and now i don't have any privacy well i still have privacy i still have privacy now but when it first started going viral i felt like i had no privacy and i feel like that when you start to blow up your privacy is part of it and um that's a scary thing to lose because i do love my privacy um if you know and how to it would go if if there's anything different that i would have done if i would have known it says is there anything you would have done if it, if you had known it would go viral um, no, um, I think the only thing is not trusting everybody that had came into contact with me in general when I first started going viral. I think we are so vulnerable in that place when you start first going viral, but when you first start going viral, everybody reach out, reach, reaches out to you. So I felt like I shouldn't have trust so many people because I didn't know people's intention and, um, that would be mine. Next question, okay, my question is if you could work with any celebrity, living or dead, who would you want to work with and why? Any celebrity. Also, how, okay. If I could work with any celebrity, definitely it'd be Kehlani. I feel like she's, she's made a huge impact in general in the LGBT community and with women and I have also would love living or dead. Um, I feel like that a person, or um, I would want to also work with like certain like just in like a show and stuff like that. Like I just feel like acting is something that I've always wanted to do but it's just a very scary scene when you get into that Hollywood scene. I just wish I could meet the right people who were humble, who were, you know, themselves. And Drew, Drew Barrymore, she's just so adorable, yo. Um, very adorable. There's a couple other people I just haven't right off the chest. Um, the Rock, um, yeah, definitely. Also, how do you keep staying positive even when it gets rough? <sighs> Listen, girl, um, it's not always a positive day for me, but I try my best to keep a good mindset. And even in that mist of darkness, I do fall apart. I don't ever want you guys to think that I'm inhuman, that I'm so positive 24-7 because that is a complete lie. 
I don't want you guys to look up to these influencers thinking that their lives are always great because they have this economic you know abundance even when I did have that economic abundance I still was struggling very much inside I just felt like I had to live up to this lifestyle because all these other influencers were doing it so I felt like I had to fit in and that was a very scary place to be and then I had to go back and just humble myself like you don't have to be like them you don't have to act like them you don't have to do that and uh, and when you get to that place where you feel like you have to compare yourself to everybody else who's in that same position, you start to lose yourself. And that's how people, that's how a lot of people, a lot of us lose ourselves in trying to compare where you shouldn't be comparing. You should just be yourself. So yeah, I'm not always positive, but I do try my best to keep a positive mindset. It's in changing your mindset and not being always negative. Like even when I am in a negative space, I try my best to be like, I know this is temporary. I do know this is temporary, but it's a dark space. Do have friends, have friends that you can call, family that you can text and be vulnerable with. And a lot of people like to hide, like me, I like to hide a lot. So my vulnerability is just, I don't like sharing it with a lot of people. But the people that I do share with, I hold great gratitude towards them because I feel so safe in their energy, the people that I can be vulnerable with, and, I, and I'm so glad that they can open their vulnerability to me because they make me feel safe and I'm glad I can make them feel safe as well. We all need people like that. We all need a community like that. And um, I hope you guys find that as well. Thanks for representing the LGBT plus community. It's such an amazing way. Oh, you're so welcome, love. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, those are all the questions, you guys. Those are all the questions that we were asked. I hope you guys have a beautiful Thursday. I don't know if I'm gonna edit it and post it today. I'm gonna have to probably drive to stop it to use their Wi-Fi. Anyways, you guys, have a beautiful Thursday. Stay amazing and try your best to show up for yourself and allow people in. I feel like sometimes I am avoidant and I have a hard time letting people in in my vulnerability at times. And that's something I'm working on. And it's challenging. It's hard to try to come from an unhealthy environment to try to cope in a healthy way while still allowing someone to be present with me. And um, I'm just maneuvering that and also starting a new job, starting all this new stuff coming my way um, so I can be able to give more to you guys and give more to myself and provide more and just be in a more happier, stable state. So other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful Thursday. Stay amazing. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.